Hello, hello! Guess what time it is? It's unboxing time! Welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. My name is Kelly. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we are going to unbox the Spirit Animal Oracle from Colette Baron reed See, it's still in the cellophane. And I got my little haul of Oracle and Tarot decks. Six Oracle, two Tarot. 50% off sale from Hay House. Uh, I could not resist. So, we're going to open this baby up. I've anxiously, anxiously been waiting to first open up the package for my haul. And I had to wait to do that. And then I had promised that I was going to unbox these on... And see, opening the, opening the cellophane so you don't think I'm lying. I just poked myself. Um, but, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, but I thought I would open these with you all so you could um, experience this as I experienced it. So, this is the Spirit Animal Oracle, a 68-card deck and guidebook by Colette Baron reed It is a slide-out box, if I can slide out. Oh, no! Oh, my God, oh, my God! This is a magnetic box, y'all. A beautiful magnetic box. I'm trying to slide it out. No wonder it wouldn't come out. On the inside of the deck, you have... Here. The spirits residing in their natural world, in the natural world, have much to share, and the secrets of their forgotten language are now available to you. Look at this beautiful background here. I love this box, and it has the little ribbon, so you can, you know, pull everything out. The book, <gasps> that's a chunky book, dude. Uh, and then the cards. Yeah. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Beautiful. Oh, look how pretty on the inside. Uh, is this beautiful or what? <laughs> wow. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's... Whew. Okay, need a breath. Need a breath. I still have other things to unbox, so I'm just like in a, on a high today. It's raining, and I'm unboxing things. I have new things to use. I'm excited. All right, so this is the guidebook. I'll calm down. This is the guidebook. Um, and uh, just very briefly on this, this is a really thick book. I mean, it's 201 pages. Granted, it is a small book, but still... It's, it seems to have a lot of information in here. So you have um, other things by Colette Baron reed You know, and I do have um, other decks by her. I have gotten a couple of more, a couple more that I will be unboxing. There's the table of contents, so they all are numbered and, I believe, in alphabetical order. So either way, there's quite a few cards. La, 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 la. Welcome, Seeker. It's a little welcome message here. An introduction. I don't know if you can see that. Hairs in my mouth, sorry. How Oracle cards work. Why this deck. Um, probably gives you an idea of how this deck will work with your spirit animal. About the spirit animals and their meanings. It's a whole little section for that. I'm going to lay it sideways so you can kind of see. How to work with the spirit animal Oracle. And then card spread. So she's got one card reading, three card reading, uh, seven card new moon reading. Interesting. Just had a full moon today. Today, tonight's, tonight's the full moon. A message for you from the cards. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, hold on. And then there's, it's the same thing. It's just a long message there, but I'm sure very informative. The cards, their messages, and their meanings. So see, they're going to give you all black and white photos. But it gives you, and there, you know, there's uh, oracle meanings. And then the protection message. Interesting. All right. So let's see. So that's pretty much it for those. In the back of the book, you get, glasses are falling off, about the artist who is Gina Della Grotaglia, or Grotaglia. I don't know if you pronounce the G or not. Gina or Jenna? It's J-E-N-A. If anybody knows, let me know. J-E-N-A. Uh, to me, that's Gina. I have to look that up. Uh, so I'm sorry, Gina or Jenna. I'm sorry if I am mispronouncing your name. Your art, I've seen the cards. I've seen them on like YouTube being a review by someone else. They're beautiful. Love the artwork. And Colette Byrne read about the author of the deck. But Gina or Jenna Della Grotaglia. Or Grotaglia. <clears throat> and then all about Hay House. You know, how to contact Hay House. And then other stuff in the back. That's, you know, Hay House stuff. Okay. But that is the book. But it is pretty. It's a, That's a chunky book. I mean, really. But, um, okay, <clears throat> put that aside. This is a chunky duck. 
too. Very chunky deck. Um, so I'm getting the impression that these are probably thick cards because I just unboxed another deck from Hay House that was not like that. Although this is 68 cards, that one was only 52, and the other one was 44. That could make a big difference, too. All right, so here we go. Um, this is the back of the card. I'm going to pull just one card here so you can see. This is the back of the card, which I find is pretty, it's pretty not only relaxing, the man, mandala type of design. It almost looks like the sun and the moon together to me. I don't know. You know, with the yellows and the blues and the whatever. Uh, the cardstock, fairly thick. Not terribly thick. For those of you who are ripple or rifle shufflers, I do believe that you probably could do that with these cards. So they're not flimsy by any means, but they are, um, they're, you know, not terribly thick, but not terribly thin. That makes sense. Um, I am not a, because I have arthritis in my hands and stuff, I cannot do ripple rifle shuffling. Uh, so I don't. I shuffle sideways. And just so y'all know, I probably will not be shuffling. I have got, I need to take time to get, in, you know, into the cards here and stuff. And um, so I like to do that. Once I'm ready to start reading, then I'll shuffle the card. So, um, but we will go through each card. Each card is numbered and has the name of the the spirit, and then a little a little underneath, like this is Ant Spirit. Time to collaborate. Just a very brief description of the card, which I absolutely love, because it gives a lot of room for interpretation, um, and intuition. And it's not gilded. It's not colored on the side. So if you like that, you could probably do that yourself. Oh, I do have a little... Wait, no. I thought it was damaged. No, it's just a little speckle. All right, so let's get into the cards. I will just briefly go through each card, and we'll get the spirit, and then what it says underneath. So we have the first card is the ant spirit. Time to collaborate. Teamwork. Antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. And let me just point out very quickly, whilst I have just started, so I don't interrupt, there's a lot of symbolism in the back. And I'm not sure if you're able to view that on camera, even down here. And again, that's why I want to spend time with the cards before I use them. I really want to look at each card individually and, and connect with each card. So then when I do use them, uh, the symbolisms will come out to me as I need them in readings. Armadillo Spirit, Set Healthy Boundaries. Did I read this one? Yeah. Antelope Spirit, Life is Speeding Up, just in case. Armadillo Spirit, Set Healthy Boundaries. Badger spirit, be fearless and bold. Let me just point out very quickly, if you can see that picture. You see all the, the bling bling and adornment on the card. I'm not really into all the flowers. Some of them have feathers. Other ones have jewelry. Not so much into that. So that almost stopped me from getting it. Uh, there was another deck I really wanted to get instead. And a lot of people use that deck. But you know what? I like the colors in this. And I like the artwork. And then I thought, you know what? As I go and use the card, I'm, I'm assuming there's got to be some sort of meaning for all that. You know, because not all the cards are like that, but certain ones are. And I'm just thinking that bold, you know, there's a lot of bold colors here. And, and just, you know, people who wear a lot of, of color and, and stuff that stand out to me are more bold as far as, I don't know. It's To me, there's symbolism that probably can be, be seen in this adornment on some of these. Like the bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. I'm going to flip the bat over though. See how the bat has some sort of little decorative thing on it. But, you know, I'm thinking that means something. Or I will at least try to find the meaning. Bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. Nice. Beaver spirit, like a solid foundation. They're very cute cards too, you know. Um, bee spirit, sweet results await. And look at that in the background of the honeycomb. Hmm. All right. Bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery. Brown bear spirit. Take time out. Buffalo spirit. Stuck together. These are matte cards, so they're not like glossy and stuff, but they were stuck together. The abundant universe will provide. And I do like the Native American touch on these, like the, the little war paint and the, um, the the feathers. So I do think that they, there must be a reason why that, uh, besides artistry, but there must be to me a reason why these things are on each card. Some have it, some don't. So Butterfly Spirit Transformation is beautiful. I like that card a lot. Canary Spirit, sing your own song. Look at the little crown. 
and it's perched on a little flute. <laughs> Interesting. Cat spirit, claim your independence. See all the bling on the kitty? Chameleon spirit, act as if. I understand that chameleons don't actually turn colors. They just try to blend in with wherever they're at. They find, I don't know, I was reading up on that. We'll see. Cow spirit, the miracles are endless. Coyote spirit, trust in divine, trust in divine detours. The artwork is very bold, and I like the colors in it. So, um, this is these are two cards. I have a problem here. Crow spirit, co-create with spirit, co-create with spirit. Hmm. Dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. Now, see, the deer has feathers, and I'm not sure. Yeah, those are all just feathers. So, I mean, there's got to be a reason why some critters have, like, here's a dog spirit, have flowers or jewelry or something. So, I, I'm hoping in the book it may explain, be loyal to what you love. We have a dog here. It's a two-year-old dog, but a golden retriever. He's just so... <laughs> He puts up with a lot. But we have someone here who, like today, I went downstairs and I saw him. He came running at me to say hello. And he had this pink bow tied to him. So when I see that dog, that's what it reminds me of. They always put like little decorative things on him temporarily for the day. But, you know, it's, it's kind of random. Dolphin spirit. This and that are true. Again, a lot of openness to, to get your own interpretation. Dove spirit. B. Peace. Um, your intuition, your spirit, your spirit, but your own interpretation of depending again if you're doing a single card reading or if you're doing uh, a, just a tarot, tarot with an oracle card at the end. Uh, it just depends. It just depends. Dragonfly spirit, tri truth transcends illusion. I just think that's so pretty. The bold blue and the green together, and then the orange down here. I mean, it's just I don't know. So, I mean, I, I looked at these online on, on YouTube re reviews and um, and I decided I did think I could resonate with these. Eagle Spirit, Spirit has your back. We'll see. We'll give it a shot. I still might get that other deck at some point, but Electric Eel Spirit, bring your ideas to life. You know, and each deck has its own vibe. So, you know, I could switch it up if I wanted. I have another Animal Message deck, but... Um, Elephant spirit, learn from the past. So I didn't have to get this, but I chose to because, I mean, it was a good deal. It was 50% off. <laughs> Flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. Fox spirit, think on your feet. Wow. Think on your feet. And you can't, it's, again, it's hard to see. In here, but if you look really close behind the fox, you can't really see. There's like a a, a circle of mandala behind it. Again, there are feathers here. Uh, there's some sort of design right here, and I will look more closely at that. It's harder to see on camera. So these cards, when you can see them in person, it makes a, a big difference. Frog spirit, clear out clutter. Man, do I need that? I'm in the process of doing that, and yeah, <laughs> that's going pretty slow right now. Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. Grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. A little crown on the, again, the design in the back. It's a mandala, almost like a flower. But there's a crown on the grasshopper. So, you know, certain cards have different, different things on them. Groundhog spirit, time to let go. Time to let go. You've got a little heart. Do you see that? So, see, if this came up in a love reading... It could indicate, it doesn't have to be, but it could be a, a relationship or it could be something that's dear to your heart. So see how you can interpret that in different ways and the symbolism in the back or around hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. You can kind of see the little mandala up here. Uh-oh, blurry, blurry. There we go, there we go. Too close to the phone, I guess. Horse spirit with two cards. Freedom is yours. 
I love that, like a wild horse. Freedom is yours. It's weird because it, at first glance, it almost looks like a face. That's not. It's the horse's ear. The horse is bent down. And this is the coloring on the horse, like the shadow or whatever, but that's the ears right there. But it almost, very quickly, it almost looks like a face. <laughs> All right. Hummingbird spirit. Sorry if you've got the vibration there. Someone's, it's a notification for a game. But that's the only bad thing about using my phone. Hummingbird spirit, be here now. I'm trying to work on getting a better, I'm the laptop I, that was loaned to me is an old laptop. So it's not, it doesn't work. We're trying to fix that, see if I can get that to, to update it and blah, blah, blah. So, um, but you know, I do this on my phone. Koala spirit, spirit has a plan. Um, yeah, there's bling on this one too. But there's got to be a reason for that. I mean, unless it's just, I don't know, why why some and not others. Koi fish spirit. There is always enough. Interesting. I like that. I like the different types of critters in here. You know, it's not all certain ones. There's some random ones in here. Lion spirit, be generous of spirits. Generous. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being. So I have another animal deck, Animal Messages, and I do use that in my readings. So I didn't have to get another deck, So, but I was drawn to this one. And that one's a little different than this one. Moth spirit, surrender now. There may be a few repeated animals, but... Again, you know, for me, it all depends on the reading and the energies of the cards. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. Nightingale spirit, love is all around. Again, crown. And is on a... What do they call those? A something for a homophone? What do they call those things? It's like... I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out when I go through the deck. But otter spirit, you are never alone. And look closely. It's in the shape of a heart. You know? He's all like nestled in a heart position. And again, feathers... Interesting, interesting concept. Owl spirit, you see clearly now. Wisdom, you see clearly now. Crowned with wisdom. That's how I see that. But again, wearing a crown. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. Look at the intensity of that card. Let me get a close-up of that one. Panther spirit. Parrot spirit. Watch your words. Watch your words. You know how parrots repeat things and peacock spirit. Let it shine. Let it shine. Fan out those feathers. Look at the shining light coming from the, the, the almost like the heart chakra there. Pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. Porcupine spirit. Time for beginner mind. Interesting. You see that? And again, he's got the bling bling on him. He's got beads and feathers and I'm not sure what's on his head. Rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. Like the lucky rabbit foot. So there's one rabbit and there's some babies. I'm not sure what the mandalas and the symbolisms in the back mean. I mean, I could do without, like here's one, the rhino spirit, overcome any obstacle. I, I guess I don't quite understand all the adornment on the animal. I would prefer an animal in the more natural state. So there must be something because, I mean, you would never find, you don't think of a rhinoceros wearing flowers and, and you know, usually being around flowers necessarily. He's got little wings on. So... You know, I will spend time with the cards and see if that has any resonance as far as the meaning in the book and, and what have you. There's got to be something. Sandpiper spirit, be playful. So if I had to comment, here we go, be playful. If I had to comment on one thing, I, I could do without all that extra stuff on the animals. But you know what? It's different than any other deck. Scarab beetle spirit, magic works through you. A little more whimsical, I guess, you know, you'd say. So, I guess maybe it's not supposed to be literal, you know, when you think of each animal. Seahorse spirit, watch and wait. Now, see, seahorse to me is very unique. Scarab beetle is new, unique to me. I don't, I don't think that's in my other deck, nor have I seen it necessarily in other decks. Skunk spirit, know your worth. 
Snake spirit. Time to heal. Time to heal. Spider spirit. Oh, I like this one. Make your dreams real. I love this. The deep purples. Squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself. He's got something on his head. I'm not sure what, but get little critters. Hmm. Stag spirit. And this is the uh, take the lead. This is the uh, front of the box and the guidebook. Stag spirit. See? See, see, see. Okay. We have a starfish, which is also unique in my opinion. Starfish spirit. Open to infinite possibilities. There's a lot of good in this deck. So even with the bling bling and the whatever, to me the message itself is more important necessarily than the look of the card. Now the swan spirit, time for a deep dive. Somehow with all the little flowers around it, it seems appropriate. You know? Um, that one almost works with the little stuff on the head of the swan. Blossoming into a beautiful swan, you know? You think of the ugly duckling and then the swan, so to speak. Turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. Turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. Like the tortoise and the hare, slow and steady wins the race. I love that. Vulture spirit, interesting. Nothing is wasted. Now see, the vulture's got a crown. Other stuff in the background here, but... So, I'm, I'm, I'm curious as to why some have crowns, some don't. Some have feathers, some don't. Others have bling bling, others don't. Wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. I like that. See, this is this has got a lot of uniqueness to it. So um, it's not like any other animal deck. I will say that. Whale spirit, trust the great mystery. So I mean, I kind of like these white raven spirit, trust in the magic. I thought that was a tag. That's the number. <laughs> why is there a tag hanging from its head? <laughs> Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. I love the wolf. Look at those eyes. And last but not least, wombat spirit. Be at home. Again, a crown. With bling bling on it. <laughs> so, 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 so. That is the Colette Baron Reads, the Spirit Animal Oracle. What I will do, I'm not going to shuffle the cards, but I will randomly pick a card. Here, we'll just do this one. In the center of the deck. Dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. I'll read a brief excerpt 18 from it. All right. Um, just briefly, I'll just read a little bit here. The dear spirit is bringing you a gentle warning that now is not the time to engage in an argument, no matter how volatile others are being. Do not match their intensity with your own. If you are dealing with an overly assertive person, step back and disengage, lest you agree to something out of alignment with your intentions. <clears throat> Don't let anyone bully you into anything you're uncomfortable with. You have solid footing if you stand your ground. With grace, those who disagree will begin to find their own gentleness and willingness to compromise. Dear Spirit also brings the message that it might be easy to offend someone today or take offense because someone's, someone lacks diplomacy. Let all of that pass. You are not meant to take this world personally. While it's a beautiful gift to be sensitive, to today you need a tougher hide so that any compromises you make allow you to maintain your integrity. Interesting. Interesting take, I think, on the card. The dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. What was in the description was totally different than what I was thinking. I mean, I don't know about the rest of the description. Maybe it does describe the card, the oracle meanings, but... Um, I didn't get that far because I don't want to. I don't want to read. I don't want to bore you with the reading. But I mean, again, this is this is a um, a really cool deck, you know, as far as an animal deck. And I absolutely love this box. I really do the magnetic box. It's so easy to close and open. <laughs> we need we need the other. Um, what's it say? On the side, it says the abundant universe will provide. Isn't that beautiful? And it has a bunch of different. I believe that's the wolf. There's the wolf there. So, that is the Spirit Animal Oracle Day by Colette Baron Reed. I hope that you enjoyed this. And um, if you don't have this deck, uh, hopefully this helped you to, to decide whether you want it or not. And um, 
I will be doing some more unboxing. So if you like these, check out my channel. These are all in specific playlists. So you can do that. You can check out my other things on my channel. Subscribe, join the tribe so you can get a notification. If you want to get notifications of any, any type of videos I do. These or readings or, you know, whatever. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I would love to hear from you. If you like this, please smash the like button. Comment. I would love to hear down what you think in the comments. Your take on this deck in this video, whatever, or if you have it, how you, how you feel it works with your readings, um, you know, whatever you feel like saying down below and share with other people. You never know. Maybe someone's looking for this type of deck and you share it and they're like, ha, huh, this is the one. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remy and I, my little assistant Remy here, who was reminding you to subscribe and join the tribe and hit the bell icon button. Um, appreciate you tuning in and I hope you will return and really hope you will subscribe and join the tribe. I encourage it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Peace out.